Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon because Patreons are, well, are what's going to help me carry on to maintain this channel. Now, this video is about HTX and updating your radio using their Buddy Online webpage. Now, I'm going to use my old Jumper T16 to do this update, uh, to be updated. Uh, so, let's switch over to the computer and have a look at this. Now let's open up my browser. And we're going to go to this website. I'll leave the link in the description below for you. Now I have done a video which I released that uh, shows you how to update the Zorro. And I did that by downloading the file because I prefer to do that and then I put it onto the SD card and I update from the actual radio, but there's no problem with doing it this way. It just seems to be take a little bit longer this way though. But let me show you how to do this. So we're gonna pick the latest version and you can see that is 2.6.0. We're gonna pick the radio that I'm updating at this time, the Jumper T16. Now you see down here, we can download the bin file or we can flash via USB. So I'm gonna click that. Now it says add the device. Now, what we need to do, uh, the radio must be, be, be in DFU mode to be able to upload the firmware. So all we do with the T16 is just let, leave it unplugged. That would be a good pardon, leave it turned off. Plug it in and you can hear it being detected. Now we're gonna go back to the computer. We're gonna say add device and you're gonna look down here and it's going to be this one here, the STM32 bootloader and we're gonna say connect. Now you can see it's come up on the screen here. We're gonna go next, and we're gonna say start flashing. And there we go, the process has started. I will speed uh, this up. As I said, it, this appears to take a little bit longer doing it this way, but yeah, you, you, at least it's a, it's a neat way of doing it online. I will put up on the screen how long this actually took. And there we go, the process is finished. Right, now we can undo the radio, turn our radio on. Welcome to HTX. We need to go to the Sys menu and then go across until we go to the last page, which is version, and I can see now it says 2.6.0. I'll just show you that on the screen there. There we go. So we have uh, updated the firmware. Now let's go back to the computer. So if we click done, go back to the opening screen again, but we've got the SD card contents uh, showing up the top here. Let's click that. But at the moment, the devs, are, this is still in development, so we can't do our SD card in this way. Well, I hope you found that video useful and helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I will try to assist you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.